horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver, You're on the trail of the Black Girl. Hail, Silver! Hey! There is untold worry and misery in Calabash. That was the way the note began. It was the latest of many messages that the Lone Ranger had received from the same mysterious source. He knew but two things about the writer of the notes. The writer was a girl, a small girl to judge by her footprints, and the information she gave the masked man had proved reliable. We're nearly there, Tullo. Good place to leave horse in Cottonwood. Right. Steady, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. Well, there are still lights in some of the buildings in Calabash. <clears throat> uh, yonder cafe... That's where you to go. That's right, Kimosabe. I'm to go there wearing my mask. Oh, don't I not like ID. I don't like this evening's business either. It seems to me that's just about the most unusual request this unknown girl has made. That's right. And to go masked and alone to the cafe. Well, I'll do it. Oh, Kimosabe. Yes, Tonto. Maybe sometime someone learn about girl who send note. Well? Maybe send tape note. Note that take you to trap. I know the girl's handwriting. Oh, maybe someone write same way. We'll take that chance. You'll always be on hand if there's any trouble. Oh, I... Even though you don't trust this girl too far, she's been a big help in running down crooks. There now, Silver, old fella. You'll stay here with Tonto for a little while. Oh, we be ready for fast run when you come. You'd better be. I'm likely to be just a jump ahead of bullets. Tonto not like plan for tonight. I'll be back in a little while. And maybe we'll find out just what this letter is leading up to. What's the matter, Sheriff? You aren't drinking tonight. No. Nope. Maybe you'd like me to fix you one of them fancy drinks with the liquor that comes in bottles instead of cash. <laughs> I don't want anything, Bart. Uh, where's Maisie tonight? Isn't she singing in your cafe anymore? Sure, sure thing. She'll be singing a little while now. Well, I'll wait to see her. See her? <laughs> to hear her, you mean, don't you? I said I'd wait to see her. Look here, Bart. Have you noticed anything odd around town in the past couple of weeks? No, I can't say as I have. You sure? Well, of course I'm sure. What should I see around town that isn't the usual thing? Sakes alive, you're acting doggone mysterious tonight, Sheriff. Yeah. 
You seen anything of Grant Dundee during the past week? Sure, only yesterday I saw him. He was over to the land office talking to that little half pint sized army that handles the real estate. How'd he look to you, Bart? Well, to tell you the truth, Sheriff, he didn't look like he was enjoying his vittles. He had a sort of a tired look about him, like he hadn't slept much. Mm. And he was selling his land. That's what I heard. Can't figure it out, neither. He's willing to sell his land for almost nothing. Hankers to leave these parts and take his wife along with him, so he says. Did you hear that he ever needed cash money? No, I should say not. He's always had a whopping pile of cash. Oh, there's Maisie now. Sure. And isn't she the handsome girl? I'm downright lucky to have a girl like her singing in my cafe. Downright lucky. I'm going to speak to her. Hello there, Maisie. Hello, Slim. Hi, Maisie. How's tricks? How's that handsome gentleman friend, Maisie? <laughs> Sit here, Maisie. I'll be with you by and by, boys. Got a little errand first. Well, Maisie, uh, I'd like to speak to you a second. Oh. Hello, Chef Collins. Well, what are you looking so scared for? I ain't going to arrest you. No, I... I know. I'll see you by and by, Sheriff. Well, hold on. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Please let me go. I... I got to sing in a couple of minutes. Well, the fan is that way, not out the front door. Well, I, I want a little air. Fresh air, that's all. I'll be right back. Let me go. You're bothering me. Mm -hmm. Mighty nervous. Now, why is it? Let go of me. Oh, I, I am on time. I know I am. Are you waiting for me? Oh. I didn't mean to startle you. Your name is Maisie, isn't it? Here, take it. Take it, and in the name of mercy, leave me alone. All right, I'll have a look at what's in there. The sheriff. You're covered, mister, and I want to talk to you. Give me that package. Hurry, stranger, get away from here. No, sheriff, don't. Let me get him. Let me get him. Maisie, let go of my arm. No, no, you mustn't stop him. Let him go. It's all right, sheriff. It's none of your affairs. I'm making drop it that my gun, affair. sheriff. Huh? What is I this? I said drop the gun and keep your back toward me. If you don't, I'll shoot. I'm not fooling. Well, I've all the nerve. As for you, Maisie, you'll come with me. I mean that, too. Who are you? Well, that's what I'd like Come to know. Come on, Maisie. If you do what I say, you'll be back here in time to sing your song. I don't... Don't turn, Sheriff. My gun's pointed right at your shoulder. I'd hate to put you out of business for a few weeks. Well, where should I go? There's a horse for you back of the building. Get in the saddle and I'll join you. We're going to take a ride in the moonlight and talk. <laughs> The Lone Ranger returned to the spot where Tonto was waiting on the edge of town. He carried the package still unopened in his hand. I don't like it, Tonto. You do what letters say? Yes, I took the package from a girl who was almost paralyzed with fear. And the sheriff came from the cafe. He'd have taken a shot at me if that girl hadn't thrown her weight on his shooting hand. Ah. What in package? Open it up and find out. Maybe it'll account for what I had to do. Uh, no one come after you. Tonto, watch. And we can stay here for the time being, at least long enough to see what Maisie gave me. Plenty of wrapping on the package. Yes. Yeah, Silver, I'll be glad when this is over. I guess you will too, won't you, old fella? Kimasabi, look. Money, huh? Oh, much money. No message of any sort, nothing but money. Oh, there must be thousands of dollars here. Isn't that right? Now, what do we do with money? Why did Maisie hand it to me? Why did she stop the sheriff when he tried to stop me? Where'd she get money? Tonto, there's a mystery here that might lead almost any place. We'll stop the horses here and talk. If you want to, Maisie, you'll be able to get back to the cafe in time to do your singing. The sheriff doesn't trail us down and call you to account. Who are you, anyway? My name wouldn't mean a thing to you. Well, what do you want? Just a few facts from you. Where did you get all that money you gave away tonight? None of your business. Who else has had to make a big payment like that? I'm not telling you a thing. Who ordered you to go on the porch of the cafe and hand the money to the man who came up to you? Go on, girlie. Keep asking questions. I'm not answering any. When you get tired of talking for nothing, maybe you'll let me get back to work. Maisie, I'm going to tell you something that'll scare you. Get ready for it. <laughs> scare me. All right, then listen to this. The man you gave that money to is generally known as the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? No. No, he couldn't be. He was. <laughs> Why, it's the wildest story I've ever heard. I've heard all about the Lone Ranger. He's not a... Not a what, Maisie? I'm not talking, see. I'm not saying a word. Then I'll talk some more. I got wind of the fact that you were going to hand over the cash tonight. I sent the Lone Ranger a note. Why? I asked him to be there to take the cash. 
Now the man you were really supposed to hand it to will think you failed him. He'll think you defied him. Dared him to, well, to keep his word. Listen, is this the truth? It's as true as I'm sitting on this horse. You heard the voice of that man. You heard that the Lone Ranger is a voice that doesn't sound like anyone around here. He was masked, wasn't he? Yes. I told him to come on foot because I thought he might be identified if he came on that white horse. He's been pretty active around this part of the country. I didn't want him to be stopped before he took the cash from you. So he did come on foot. He got the cash and got away with it. I wonder now just what'll happen to you. Wait. Do you know what you've done to me? In the name of mercy, what'll I do now? I, I'd sooner face death than, than what they told me would happen. The same as they told Mrs. Grant Dundee. Who? You're not the only one, Maisie. Mrs. Dundee was made to pay. Grant Dundee had to sell his land to raise the cash. He sold it for a third of its value. Then, then there are others? Yes. Why didn't you pick up one of them? Why didn't you take someone else? Why did it have to be me? Wait a minute, Maisie. No. You needn't be afraid. You said you heard of the Lone Ranger. Well, he's on our side. On your side. Can't you understand that? What can he do? He can do a lot. If you'll help. Nobody knows who, who these fiends are. You've got to help, don't you see? If you don't help get this gang, I'm... Gang? I'm sure that more than one man is involved. If you don't help get them, they'll... Well, you know what'll happen. Yes, I, I know. All right, then. Now come back to town and sing your songs as if nothing happened. Oh, how can I? You're a good actress, Maisie. You can douse some cold water in your eyes and go on. Nothing will happen to you while you're in the cafe. And when you leave, the Lone Ranger will meet you. How do you know? How can you be sure? He'll be there. And you, who are you? Have you been threatened too? Where can I find you? How you can I... You may not see me again, Maisie. I'm going to get word of the Lone Ranger. And for the sake of other women, for your own sake, tell him all you can. And trust him. argument about it, Tonto. We've got to wait here. Oh, me not like it. We can't right away and take this money with us. We've got to do something with it. Give it to the owner. Throw it away. Why, Tonto, you're prejudiced against everything this mysterious girl requests. Oh, right. She said in her note that if we wanted to help her, we should remain here unless we were chased. She'll probably get word to us in some way. Well, what we do then? I don't know. This amount of money is involved, though. We can be sure there's something big going on. You think maybe girl come here? I doubt it. She'll probably send someone with a note for us. Uh, She's taken every precaution to make sure we don't see her. Uh, I wonder who she is, what she looks like. Where does she get her information? How does she learn so much about us? Not us. Her learn plenty about you. It's the same thing, Tonto. I... Silver, give one. Someone come near. Tonto, it might be... Maybe it's a message. Hello. Hello, Lone Ranger. Answer me. Just a minute. I'll be there. Come on, Tonto, bring the horses. Oh, here, Silver, you ride and catch girl. She said read the note. She's depending on us, Tonto. A girl, ride plenty fast. You you ride hard, maybe catch her. I can't do that. She wouldn't have come here herself if it wasn't urgent. If I stopped to read the note, there'd be no chance to catch her. Here's the rock. Uh -huh. And there no note. Right. There's still enough moonlight to read it. As the masked man read the letter, explaining what the girl had found out, his lean face hardened. His eyes behind the mask and the set of his jaw reflected steel determination. Otto, we've got to do something to find out who's behind the crime that are threatened. Mount up. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Where we go? Hip. Down to Calabash. We've got to have a talk with that singer at the cafe before it's too late. Um, me ready. We're riding into danger, Kimosabe. Uh -huh. Get him up, scout. Oh, silver! Hoy! You have just heard the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. As the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode into the town, Maisie was talking with a tall, dark man in the cafe. But, Jack, you've got to let me leave here alone. I can't explain You're now. You're going to meet but... someone. Ain't that it? Well, maybe, but honest, Jack, it... oh, I can't tell you anymore now. You know, it's about time we told folks around here we're married. Sick and tired of the way all the men want to dance with you and buy your meals and presents. But that's just it. I can't let our marriage become known. Bart wouldn't let me sing here anymore. He'd say our wife's place was in the hall. What do I care? I say the same thing. I've got lots of money. My gold mine pays rich. Oh, you never will understand, Jack. I want to be a great singer. You? <laughs> oh, I know I ain't. I haven't got the education, but someday maybe. I'm studying all the time. Now let me go. What's I... the matter with you? You paid that cash, didn't you? You ain't got nothing to worry about from those scheming crooks. Oh, I, I paid it. Yes, I paid it, Jack, right at the time I was supposed to. And what's ailing you? Why you got to leave here alone? Who are you meeting? Jack, I, I'll tell you all about it later. Honest, I will. I'm not even sure that, that I'll see him. But I've got to leave here alone. And now. All right, Maisie. Go ahead. Go on. Bye. <laughs> I'll just follow her along. She meets a man... Well, I can throw a knife as straight and true as any man alive. As Jack followed Maisie from the cafe, keeping to the shadows, he clutched a knife in his right hand. The little singer hurried on toward the appointed meeting place and found the Lone Ranger waiting for her. You, you are the man who took that money? Yes, you remember me? Why did you do it? It will be returned to you. I want you to come to Grant Dundee's house with me. Why? His wife was threatened with torture just as you were. Maybe we can learn something if we talk it over. Oh, there's nothing I can tell. We'll go there anyway. By comparing notes, we may be able to find a clue. At least you'll be safe in the Dundee home. Uh, Tonto, you can walk the horses. Uh, Tonto, do it. But wait. Maisie, you've got to be guarded, you know. Oh. That's right. Don't you know anything about the man who demanded all this money? No. Didn't he write you a warning? Well, I, I had to burn it. I kept it for a couple of days, but he knew I hadn't burned it, and he threatened me with awful things if I didn't obey. Well, how did he threaten you? Well, he, he spoke to me one night in the darkness when I was going from the cafe to the place where I board. He spoke to you? Yes, he came up beside me. It was terribly dark couldn't see his face. He, he had it covered with a cloth. How tall was he? Mm, I don't know. As tall as I am? Oh, I can't remember. He, he seemed huge in the darkness. He was much taller than I am. Well, I, I think he was taller even than you are. A and heavy. Fat. He was fat, you say, Maisie? Yes, that's right. Don't you know of anyone in town like that? You no, know, I, I thought at the time that he must be a stranger in town. Well, you see, Maisie, you've already given me some information that may help. That's so. We'll be at Dundee's in just a moment. You'll then... Look out! What? You... Me get him! Oh, Jack, you... Here, Tonto, I'll take him. Let go of me. Let me go of you. Not just yet. I want to know who you are and why you threw a knife at me. Jack, have you lost your wit? This is the Lone Ranger. I don't care who it is. He's the one that threatened you. He's the one that got that cash, my cash. Your cash? The truth may as well come out now as ever. If your friend hadn't jumped me, I'd have got you. That's the way I wanted it. Now the law will have to take you instead. You're the one that threatened Maisie, and she's my wife. Your wife? Maisie, is that true? Yes. We're married. We had to keep it secret. I live in the Ruman house and Jack in the hotel. Jack, this is the Lone Ranger. He got the cash, but he'll give it back. He's trying to help. A likely story. Now you come along with us, Jack. We'll all sit down in Grant Dundee's house and have a conference. His wife was threatened, too. What if I don't want to go? Bring him along, Toto. Uh, Toto, do it. Oh, oh, let go of me. I'll go with you. Dundee and his wife, Maisie and Jack, and the Lone Ranger and Tonto sat about a table in the Dundee home. 
The masked man said... We hope to get something definite to work on, Mrs. Dundee. I don't know how I can help. Maisie didn't think she could help either, but she gave me some very important information. What was that? Well, she received a letter telling what she had to pay and what would happen if she didn't pay it. The same as my wife did. I paid it. I'd do anything before I'd let something happen to Marlene. Were you instructed to burn the note, Mrs. Dundee? Yes, me too. Maisie didn't burn the note at once. Somehow the cook or crooks knew that she didn't burn it. When she was going from the cafe to her rooming house, a man approached in the darkness and told her she'd better get rid of the note. Uh, no one said anything to you, did they, Molly? No. Didn't you burn the a note either? I kept it. I put it away. I paid the cash, but I aim to try and find the crew that got it. Maybe that note will help. I still think that mass man's the crook. What's that, Jake? Maisie said the man that approached her was big and fat. Shucks, this gent ain't fat. He could wear a lot of padding under clothes that was too big for him. He could look taller in the dark. He's a plenty tall enough as it is. The fact still stands. He got the cash from Maisie. Well, Jack, this is a lone ranger. You know why he got the cash. You'll get it back, Jack. Your dog gone right, I will. Mrs. Dundee, are you sure your first note was the only one you got? Oh, yes. Just the one. I put it away in my strong box. Dundee, I'd like to see the note, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. I'll get it for you. I keep it in the strong box over here. Used to keep cash here, too, when I had the cash. Now, here it is. I'll lock it for you. I don't see this is getting us anywhere. If I hand over my cash, I'll go home. Stay with us for a while, Jack. A pretty high-handed way of doing things. Yeah, there we are. There's a lot of papers here. I keep most everything here. Ink. Uh, go and stuff spill out a while back. I keep her here with a pen so it'll be handy when I got papers to sign. Uh, let me see. Deed to the land, uh, mortgage. I got that note here somewhere. You let me have that box and I'll try and clean up things where the ink spilled, Greg. Oh, it's all dry now. Uh, here we are. Here's the note. I don't know if it'll help much, but you're the judge of that. Have you seen handwriting like it anywhere? Nope. Maisie, you look at the note and see if it's the same writing as the one you had. All right. While you're doing that, I want to talk to Tonto outside. Come along, Tonto. Hey. You know, I sure like the style of that masked man's talking. I don't know why it is, Grant, but somehow I feel that with him on our side, everything will work out all right. You mean... Maybe I'll find these terrible criminals that are robbing us. I'm hoping so, man. Yeah, he never will. Well, there won't nobody be safe until he does. Who rode off, Redskin? Go on an errand for me, Mr. Dundee. Well, we have nothing more to talk about until he returns. Then let me go home. I'm tired. Sit down. But listen here. Sit down. Oh, all right, all right. I don't know why you so dead set again the Lone Ranger, Jack. Oh, you don't, huh? Nope. It's just that you're a jealous fool, Jack. You're sore because he's the one that's helping me and not you. Uh, who paid that cash? You did. But you didn't have any ideas of trying to get the crook. And risk your life by doing it? Not me. I'm just afraid this lone ranger here is going to cause all the women that have been threatened to really meet up with trouble. These crooks are smart, mighty smart. They'll know what's going on. And you can mark my words, they'll do something about it. We'll take that chance, Jack. Maybe it would be best to let things stand, mister. I have an idea that when Tonto comes back... We'll know who the criminals are. Huh? And we'll just sit quietly and wait for Tonto. Mm. Well, you might return my cash in the meantime. We'll wait till later for that. You plan to keep it? No, I don't. Why well, don't you return it, mister? We'll wait. But a minute ago, you said... A lot me. has happened in the last few minutes to change my mind. We'll wait. <laughs> Tonto returned to the Dundee house. He dismounted hurriedly and burst through the door. Then he gave a signal to the Lone Ranger, and the masked man rose to his feet. All right. Now it's a showdown. Come with me, all of you. Me too. You, Dundee, your wife, Maisie, and Jack. Tonto, you get the sheriff and the deputy to take charge of the criminal. You mean it? You really got him? We know who he is. Come on. Where are you going now? To the hotel, Jack. To one of the rooms in the hotel. This is my room. That's right, Jack. Sheriff, have you told your deputy that he should be ready for trouble? Yeah. And I'll tell what I know. Maisie. Huh? Oh, I'm so confused. Tonight you I... handed me a bundle of money, didn't you? Yeah. Now, where did you get the money? Jack gave it to me. Where do you get all of your money, Jack? I've got a gold mine. You didn't get it from anyone in town then? No. Dundee, pay attention to me. Uh, oh, sure. What is it? You told me that you'd spilled a bottle of ink on your strong box. That's right. You kept your cash there? Some of it. When I used to have cash. But you spent all of your cash to save the life of your wife. 
You gave it to the man who sent the note of warning. Uh -huh. The note had no ink on it. It must have been put in the box after the ink was spilled. But the cash you put in the box, some of it, had been there for some time. You paid that cash to the extortionist. Left it where the note demanded. Tell me then, Jack, how it happens that you gave your wife those same bills. How did you get Dundee's money? You mean you accused Tonto me? Tonto came here to search your room. Tonto, show us what you found. Ah, uh, here big clothes, here padding. That would make you look bigger, Jack. Why, you... Go on, Tonto. Um, here high heel boots. To make you look taller. Jack, you... All right, stand where you are, all of you. I'll shoot to kill. Look out, Grant, he'll shoot. You're smart. I wondered if you caught the sign on my wrist when my sleeve slipped up. Yes, Jack, I did. I suppose you had to raise a lot of cash for the Black Arrow. You sent your own wife a note so you could pass the word around how dangerous it was to cross the orders that were sending those threats. So that's how you knew I didn't burn the note. Why, you two-faced double deal. Shut up. I'm leaving here now. I'm leaving and I'll shoot the Jack, first one. Jack, before you go, let Tonto show what else he found. Ah, uh, here all cash that Crook collect. That will be returned. You can take charge of it, Sheriff. Yeah, I will. Here's the cash you paid to Jack, Mr. Dundee. But it wasn't ink stained at all. I got it from the land I office. know. I used that to make Jack admit the crime and show his hand. You won't leave us, Jack. The sheriff has deputies outside the window. Too thin. I ain't turning my head. You needn't. We'll tell you that we're here. What's that? <coughs> oh. That got him. Take charge, Sheriff. Tell him I'll be on our way. Hey, stop. We're doggone. They went out that window before we got a chance to thank him. So that was a lone ranger. Why, Juniper Molly, I sure like the way he works. <coughs> just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.